Good morning. Um, fortunately, that cut into the time that I'm supposed to have already, so we're going to make this really quick. No. Um, I'll be speaking for about 20 minutes. Um, I left some time at the end for question and answer, hopefully. Uh, and uh, mostly, I just want to thank you all for coming. Um, like you, I'm here to have discussions. I'm here to participate and uh, hopefully even build some stuff. Um, what I wanted to try to do with my time today is really communicate a little bit about what we're doing um, at Wikimedia Foundation and what we're doing with the product and the technology teams, what we've done, what we're going to do next, and really how to engage with us. So there's a lot to celebrate, I think, about what we've done in the last year. Um, there's a number of initiatives that we've done uh, that involved a lot of people, that were multi-year efforts, that uh, involved a lot of people, um, that pays benefits for everything that we're trying to build and do. Um, the single user logon was a, uh, was a many-year effort, um, just like the HTTPS was. Uh, this year, they came to fruition, and um, they are both t things that went pretty well coming off of um, the multi-year effort. The, Hip hop uh, virtual machine uh, is also something that we did this year, which greatly helped reduce the. Uh, the I'm reading too much off my slides already. Um, the editing experience and the load time by 50%. Um, we also decreased uh, the pain times on um, page load times by reducing them by 40%. This was done by the performance team. Performance is really important. It's it's where we all benefit, it's where our users benefit the most, and it's uh, um, an area that we want to see improve and expand um, this year as well. Um, the page view definition that uh, was rewritten this year was also very important. The analytics team helped redefine uh, making the uh, page view definition go from a um, sample uh, log into a unsampled log, which gives us a much more accurate description of what's going on across our site. Turning that into an API has allowed many teams to start using that for development, which is uh, a very good thing as well. The analytics team has done a number of dashboards uh, with the different teams and enabled uh, uh, more awareness through the, um, extending the event logging. The uh, objective revision, I'll just say or as, um, the revision evaluation service uh, is really the machine learning service that helps us get much better quality across our entire um, set of software. This is something I hope to see expand into a lot of the different features as we develop over the next year. Um, and then the release team did a great job uh, really getting every, everybody on uh, Fabricator this year. As product teams, that's the best way to engage with us. and. Uh, you'll see a little bit further, uh, we have, that's the primary way to actually engage with us. The research team has done a dramatic amount of work this year. Um, one thing that I'd like to call out is uh, the new editor uh, retention um, uh, initiative that was done through Tea House. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because I think it has a lot of potential and uh, it, uh, it's highlighted here, but I think these are the types of things that we have to do to move product further uh, by engaging with our users more directly. The, there was also a number of design research initiatives that were done this year that really, really, really uh, help how we're developing our software through A-B testing, through surveys, um, and that paid a lot of dividends to, ver um, to the, the visual editor work that went on this year. Research has also done a lot to open our data sets and provide a lot more information for people to gather and to understand what's going on. RESTBASE was rolled this year. Uh, there was a lot of improvements that, that came from that work, um, both in the save times, editor switching, and the reduction of our overall HTML load. Uh, API performance in general has been uh, an initiative where we are looking much closer at the performance and the analysis of our APIs and the simplification and the documentation around them. Um, the improved reliability of Wikimedia Labs was an initiative done by the operations team. Uh, there were some uh, issues earlier in the year that I think they've recovered and have done a much better job of actually improving the lab service. Visual Editor continues to expand. 
Um, a lot of features were included this year, um, including the math uh, extension, um, improving upon uh, the uh, quick loader, and uh, the incorporation of the graph editing, um, I mean the graph extension. Uh, there's uh, a lot to be, a lot more is going to be done or this year, but um, we really have started to expand now that we're on English Wikipedia. The content translation tool resulted in over 40,000 uh, new translated articles this year. Um, this is another thing that is providing a lot of new opportunities for us to uh, engage more users. The echo notification enhancements, uh, we're, we're, I like them personally, I'm using them a lot. Um, and we're going to have uh, the ability to do cross-wiki notifications very soon. Parsoid improvements around HTML size and performance were also done. A flow beta was uh, released. The graph extension itself has gone through a lot of iterations, and now there's dynamic graphs, um, which Yuri has been working on, that show a lot of promise. Um, search completion suggester is working on improving the relevancy of uh, how people actually discover all the content across our site. The map tile service and the wiki data query service uh, went into limited production. And this was an opportunity for us to work with operations to really explore um, how to expand things out of labs in a, in a more bare metal way. And there's probably too many highlights. There's, I'm a, there's a lot that I'm missing. Um, but I want to I wanna try to make sure that we celebrate the things that we are doing and the progress that we are making. Um, we've reduced page load time in mobile web. Um, there's been a lot of Android and iOS additions this year. Uh, the tab browsing and the link previews, as well as the map service showing up in Android are all great things. Um, iOS with share of fact and uh, improved search, as well as a read more section all have opportunities to um, be showcased in the desktop as well, and that team is continuing to explore those. The banner history feature that was entered into central notice allows for better understanding and testing of how banners perform. And then uh, last but not least, the community wish list survey um, that was introduced late in November uh, has provided a better engagement opportunity for the community tech team to um, directly interact with our community to find the, the primary things that we want to do to actually increase and improve our admin tools. I'll talk more about that later. So what are we doing next in 2016? These are just a few things. Um, being here, going through our annual planning, um, the constant feedback loop with individual teams will expand and improve upon everything that we're trying to do over the next year. We're Mobile editing and mobile speed improvements are at the top of our list. These are things that we absolutely must do in order to try to improve our overall software. Um, API efficiency and understanding and performance are also um, key on our list to actually improve. Um, Cross-wiki features such as notifications and search, uh, being able to explain what we can see and where we can see it. Data and feedback tools such as Quick Survey and uh, some of the data APIs that we're going to be able to continue to improve upon. And bringing um, ORES, translation, graphs, uh, maps, Wikidata query service, UI consistency, and making sure these types of things actually get built into more and more features. The engagement and prioritization uh, component of this is really us as a foundation doing a better job of making it clear what we're working on, why we're working on it, and when we're going to be working on it. One of those things that I brought up earlier was a community wish list survey. We had over 100 uh, community um, suggestions put forth. These are the top 10. Uh, there's going to be a discussion tomorrow, I believe, uh, worth a session where we'll go more in depth about uh, how that worked and um, where we're going to go with it. I think that um, this is a good example of how we're, we're trying to do a better job of actually engaging with people, getting the right things, and building the right things. So working with foundation teams, uh, the primary way to work with us is really through our team fabricator boards. Uh, making suggestions, uh, engaging in the discussions that are ongoing constantly, just like we did for the developer summit are the primary way that we would like you to engage with us at this point. 
participating in planning really comes from engaging in the team wiki pages, the mailing lists, the talk pages, IRC, and our fabricator boards. Monitoring the progress of our goals and our projects comes from going to our, uh, we have set up our goal pages on MediaWiki, and we're trying to do a much better job of um, putting those up early and announcing them on our mailing lists and engaging people um, on a more regular cadence so that there's more warning and there's more participation and discussion that can occur. We've also uh, started an initiative around product showcases this year where we're actually trying to show the work that we're developing so that you have a much more visible uh, way to interact with us. And then lastly, we've also created a product hub where you can see the status, you can see uh, metrics and outcomes as we perform, and uh, there's a number of jump points within there to go to all of these pages for each product team. Really, more communication is the whole key. We want more blogs. We want to uh, continue to work with developer relations and community liaisons to, um, to talk about the things that we're developing. Uh, we're looking at our development process, and we also are trying to engage by saying when we're running user tests, what surveys we're running, the results that come from them, and have a discussion around our strategy. The teams at the foundation are broken into technology groups and into a product group. And this, I just provided these really as jump points to be able to go deeper into those particular areas and teams that you can work with. And lastly, uh, I just wanted to share some of the milestones that we have currently going forward. Uh, the goals are for this current quarter are posted through January and March on uh, MediaWiki. Uh, you can engage with each of the teams and ask them directly how, um, how they came up with it, what the rationale was around it. But uh, we want, like I said earlier, to do a better job of doing an earlier cadence on these sorts of things. So we want to try to have our planning and drafts uh, for the following quarter for April through June done in February and March. And ideally, we want to get to a 9 to 12 month um, roadmap where you're going to have a, a much longer window to actually engage with us. Um, the planning and review for a lot of the work that we're doing at the foundation is going to be happening around the annual plan for 2016 and 2017 from now until June. Um, and I highly encourage you to engage with us. So I want to keep it relatively short um, and provide an opportunity for questions and answers. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we had a, a, a broad picture of kind of where we've gone where we're going, um, this event, uh, the annual plan, and ongoing conversations directly with the teams as they develop their goals is the best way to engage with us right now. And um, so thank you for today. Thank you for the discussions that we're going to have. And I look forward to participating with all of you. Thank you. So. Um, and I, one of the things I would love to celebrate is the um, is is back on the community wish list side of things. Um, we've uh, a lot of folks put in a, a lot of work here, and I want to make sure that everybody knows the people because, like, one of the things that we're hoping happens here at the summit is that you talk to these people about what the community wish list items were. So, um, Danny, um, where, yes. So Danny Horn here, um, and I'll, Danny, I'm, if you don't mind me putting you on the spot, I'm going to let you uh, introduce the rest of the team. Right. Hi, everybody. I'm Danny. I'm the product manager for uh, the community tech team. Uh, we also have Ryan Caldari, <laughs> our technical lead, uh, Naharika Kohli, and Francis Hogut. Oh, she's over there. There's Francis. Yeah, we would absolutely love to, to talk to everybody about, uh, we're, we're basically starting 10 huge projects at the same time. There's a lot of conversations we need to have, so um, that will be great. I will talk to you all soon. Great, yeah, I, I think a lot of the, the projects that you see here, these are all things that, that I know um, we've, you know, we've been talking about a lot of these things for a long time and talking 
but not really like having a good concrete plan for them. And so uh, I love the fact that uh, the, the community team has been working on actually figuring out how we move forward on these things and starting with, you know, the first step on these this, this year. I mean, 10 projects, that's a huge amount of work for a very small team to do. But with, um, with the, the help of everybody here, we can get it done. And that's, and not just everybody here, but everybody in the world that is a programmer. Like, and we want to get those folks. Kim, that's also something that's going to be highlighted at the hackathon as well, right? Opportunities to work on this list, so. So, um, anybody want to comment on any of these projects? Like, that would be a good start. Like, is there is there anything that strikes anybody here as like, like, oh my God, we if we do one thing, this is the one thing we have to do. Yeah. Okay. So, Brian. Uh, I think for number uh, five, there's an option we could just enable in the underlying library. So, <laughs> so it's just a simple matter of configuration. There's a global you said, it's fine. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I think that, that having that. So at this point, there's starting to be people, um, I, I'm breaking with, uh, with, with our plan here by holding the microphone and, uh, and, and being microphone guy and letting people sort of sit in their seats and do this. So if you can line up at the microphones on either side and we'll, uh, um, uh, and, and we will uh, uh, take people in order, uh, the, in their order in line. Um, so, yes. I guess I kind of had an unfair advantage because I was sitting literally right in front of the microphone. But uh, considering the broad scope of the product department, what would you say is the underlying mission of the product department? Or in more operational terms, how do you decide what to work on and what not to work on? Yep. So each individual audience right now is... Uh, definitely has the responsibility to take in a number of different feedback loops to figure out their prioritization. As a larger product department, we're doing, um, we're doing some strategy development as part of the annual planning where we're going to open it up and have, have active discussions around it. Um, this is, uh, it's new, it's relatively new. I started just technically two months ago. <laughs> um, but I've been at the foundation longer than that. Um, we're really trying to drive uh, people to the teams themselves because they're closest to what's going on. Um, they understand their audiences and so, like I said, try to work through their fabricator boards, try to work with their mailing lists, try to work with their conversations as they build their goals and their planning. Does that answer? Okay. Yep. Alright. Is this still on? Hello. It's on. All right, so uh, on the community wish list survey, um, I just want to comment, I think it's all about number three, central global repository for templates. Yeah. Is this on? He said it's all about number three. I'm not sure it's on. <laughs> okay, good. Talking to it, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, that's better. Uh, so yes, I just wanted to add that uh, you know many years ago we set up Commons for uh, central repository for images, and it made it hugely easier uh, to reuse things between projects and between languages. Uh, and it's really, really, really been missing for templates, modules, and gadgets. Uh, it creates an extra complication for uh, authors and maintainers, uh, and there's no good localization, and so there's been a lot of uh, difficulty in terms of making these materials actually available for use on what is now several hundred separate wikis. Um, so in my opinion, that is the most important thing we can possibly do, and I think a lot of people will get benefit from it. Thanks. I'll jump in really quick there to say that um, about four years ago, Timo and I wrote some code that did that for gadgets and never finished it. Uh, it is my understanding that the community tech team has already begun picking that up and polishing it and doing things to it. Cool. Uh, uh, to that, I would add uh, another indication of how important that is, is I think nine out of ten of these can be implemented using a gadget, which is not necessarily advisable, but <laughs> it kind of illustrates how important having like a central maintainable repository for that would be. Thanks. 
Uh, if you're interested in talking about number three, I have an RFC called Shadow Namespaces that would take care of templates and Lua modules. I'm going to schedule in for an unconference slot if you want to talk about that. Cool. All right, that's 20 minutes. Thank you.